Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. And welcome back as I continue to celebrate Halloween all year. Today I am using these honeybee dies. It is the house builder base, card base, as well as the Halloween or haunted house add-on. So I have had these in my stash now for a number of years and I was so stinking excited to get them. What I didn't take into consideration is that I really don't enjoy die cut heavy projects. <laughs> so that's why they've been sitting in my stash unused. And as much as I love this card and the way that it turns out, and we'll see it soon if you didn't see it there at the beginning in the um, thumbnail, I know that I will never use these again. So as I start my process, um, just let me tell you first off, when, when you do this, if you are making a shape, shaped card, which is what I'm doing, um, you'll need two of the house bases, right? So you need a front and a back. And this little weird shaped piece becomes the flap, so or the hinge, if you will. So um, just know that that's what I'm doing. I'm making a, a shaped card versus mounting a house onto a card. Now this does fit into an A2 size envelope. So if you were to make this onto a card versus a shaped base card, you would want to make it a five by seven card or something along those lines. So anyway, I think my process is pretty self-explanatory. So I want to talk about this die set. I do love it. It is amazing. It has so many options and there are, um, even though I just have these two, there are other ones out there. There's a beach house. There's, oh, I just, there's a Christmas house. I can't remember what else there is, but they're add-ons, right? So you have to have the, the card base first, which was the first one that I showed. And again, it is called House Builder Card Base. And then I have the Haunted House add-on. All of the others are add-ons as well. I only have these two, but I know me and I know that I will never use them again. So that is why I decided I would go ahead and do a giveaway with these because someone out there will not only love them because I love them, but someone will use them. I won't use them. And that's the sad piece. So it's just too much die cutting. And I love that you can customize and individualize and all of that. And I don't know what it is, but my heart just doesn't get into die cutting that much. I mean, I like die cuts, but when it's this die cut heavy and there's nothing else involved, yeah. So if you are interested in these, if you would like a chance to win, what I need you to do is if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. I would love for you to come back and join me. And for those of you who have been with me for some time, um, or if you're just new here and you just subscribed recently, whatever your situation is, I appreciate you for spending any amount of time with me because I know that our time is limited, right? We only have so much of it and you could be doing a million other things, but you chose to spend time with me. So if it's just this one time for this giveaway, or if it's been years that you've been with me, or if today you're a new subscriber, I don't know. But I appreciate you and I appreciate the time that you spend with me. So I would love for one of you to win this. Um, I'm going to give both sets to the, to the same person because it doesn't make sense to have the add-on if you don't have the base. Because you have to have the base um, to make any of the other types of cards, types of houses. So with that being said, um, if you didn't already hit that subscribe button or ring that bell or leave yourself a comment downstairs, that's what you'll need to do to be entered into the win into the drawing to win these um, die sets. So make sure that you do that. You guys are awesome and I love you and I appreciate you. This is the type of project that you can customize to your heart's content. I mean, I could have made this you know, much more with, along the Halloween colors with the black and purple and orange and green. You'll notice I didn't use any pumpkins, any jack-o'-lanterns at all. I wanted to keep the color scheme, the brown, the black, the red. I thought that was very striking. I, I've told you guys before that I love neutrals. And as much as I love color, I just love neutrals. And a black and white color scheme just wins my heart every single time. I try to mix it up for y'all. <laughs> Because I just love black and white. 
I also try to mix it up for y'all by not always doing Halloween or something spooky. But here we are again. So y'all tell me, do you already have any dyes like this? Any of the Honeybee House Builders or... Um, I don't know. Honeybee has loads of different die sets. They have all kinds of different, um, I can't even think what they're called. Like the flower builders and things like that. Is that what they're called? I'm thinking. I'm not sure. Not sure. But I know that they're very popular. And yeah, that's where that's where all of this came came from, I think, because it is so very popular and if you like die cutting tell me what it is about it that you enjoy is it therapeutic because for me like with gel plate printing and there are certain certain types of crafts that i do or techniques that i do that i know others are just like mm, yuck so maybe it's that that similar kind of thing it's just there's something something about that process that speaks to your soul let me know if that's the case for you, because that is the case for me with a lot of different things, just not with die cutting. So I did have a good time making this. This video, just, just the footage of me constructing the house was like an hour and a half. That did not take into account all of the actual die cutting. Tell me your thoughts. I want, I want to hear from y'all. What are your thoughts on die cutting in this type of project? And if you are interested in winning this, what is it about it that you're interested in? Tell me, what kinds of cards would you make? What kinds of um, projects would you do? Because, like, if you just use the card base, I mean, it can be, it could be we're moving. It could be congratulations on your new home. It could be, I mean, you could do Christmas. And really, you wouldn't even have to have any of the add-ons because depending on the papers that you use, the color schemes that you use, I mean, you could make your house look like whatever you want it to be with just the card base, the, the main one, right, without any add-ons. So it's very, very versatile. So I am going to just put on some music. We'll watch the rest of the process. I don't feel like it needs explanation. But with that said, if you have any questions at all about my process, please, please, please drop me a question. But the main thing that I need you to put downstairs in the comments is a comment about the card so that you are entered into the giveaway. And make sure that you like and subscribe. And um, yeah, we'll see you at the end.
Okay, so one last time, make sure that you like, that you subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Drop me a comment downstairs about what you like about the card, about die cutting, etc. And this giveaway will be open until Saturday, June 8th, and I will announce a winner as soon as possible thereafter. Thanks, y'all. I'm out.